What's up everybody, back here with another video, and today we'll be ranking every Call of Duty Black Ops game. Now the way we're going to be doing this is ranking the campaign, multiplayer, and zombies, and it'll be point-based, so since there's five spots, first place will be five points, second place will be four points, third will be three, fourth will be two, and fifth place will be one. And basically we'll be ranking the games based on how many points they have at the end of the video. So let's jump right into it. Ranking every Call of Duty Black Ops campaign. Coming in at number five we have, uh... <laughs> But moving on to our fourth spot is Black Ops 3. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if it's worse to not have a campaign or for your game to have this campaign. The campaign in this game was so bad. Try and go boom. Outcome. Try and go boom. Outcome. Try and go boom. Outcome. Try and go boom. So moving on to the actual good campaigns, we got Cold War at number three. I actually really love this campaign, and it's one of my favorites. Unfortunately for Cold War though, the next two campaigns are arguably top three in the whole series, which is why such a good campaign like Cold War is at number three. But for number two, we're gonna have to go with Black Ops 2. I really like the multiple endings part, and the story and missions were overall really fun. Also, the change of pace from future to past was really cool, but that leaves the number one spot for Black Ops 1. This is personally my favorite Call of Duty campaign of all time. This game literally made me more interested in learning about history. That's how good it is. So after our first round of action, we got Black Ops 1 in first, Black Ops 2 in second, Cold War in third, Black Ops 3 in fourth, and Black Ops 4 in fifth. Ranking every Call of Duty Black Ops multiplayer. At number five, we got Black Ops 4. It just felt like Black Ops 3, but just not as good. <laughs> which leads us to our fourth spot, which is Cold War. Cold War's multiplayer was really rocky during its lifetime. I thought the multiplayer was the weak part of Cold War, but it definitely got better and it's a much more finished product now. Which leads us to our third spot, which is Black Ops 3. I thought Black Ops 3 had the best futuristic multiplayer. The movement was good and all the weapons were pretty balanced overall. I thought it was a very fun and unique experience. And I thought the operator abilities were kind of a cool addition as well. It definitely branched off a bit from older CODs though. But at our number two spot, it's going to be Black Ops 1. The gameplay is very simple and I think it's a very fun and casual experience. The only bad thing about it was the sniping was pretty bad. Which leads us to the number one spot and my personal favorite game for sniping in Call of Duty, which is Black Ops 2. This game is viewed by many as one of the best multiplayers, if not the best, in the whole series, and it definitely deserves that position. It's very balanced and all the maps are really good. So after ranking the multiplayers and campaigns, we got two ties. We got uh, Black Ops 1 and 2 tied for first, and then we got Cold War and Black Ops 3 tied for third, and then we got Black Ops 4 and done last. So next round is the final round, and it will determine the final spot of all these games. Ranking every Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. At number 5, we're going to have Black Ops 4. By no means was the zombies bad, it's just every other zombies on this list is so good. But I don't think Black Ops 4 is on the same tier as the rest of the games. And I hate to say this, but coming in at number 4, we have Cold War. I really love the zombies, and I think it's very fun. One of my personal favorites for sure, but the other three games are just iconic. Coming in at the third spot, we have Black Ops 2. This may come as a surprise, but I think the master just really hit or miss on this game. They tried a lot of new things, which I respect, but I don't think it's the best zombies experience. Also, the non-DLC maps on this game were probably the worst out of the entire list. But coming in at number two, we have Black Ops 1. There's a lot of iconic maps on this game, and I really love them. Also, this game seems like the scariest zombies to me, other than World at War, which isn't on this list. But there's just a different vibe to this game that I don't think any of the other ones have matched. Which leaves us with Black Ops 3 at the number one spot. This game is a complete zombies package. The movement is crisp, and the gameplay is very modern. I don't think there's a single bad map on this game, along with Chronicles featuring the best maps from each game in the series. And we have reached the end of this video with Black Ops 1 and 1st with 14 points, Black Ops 2 and 2nd with 12 points, Black Ops 3 and 3rd with 10 points, Black Ops Cold War and 4th with 7 points, and then <laughs> Black Ops 4 down there with 3 points. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Uh, if you made it this far, consider dropping a like and subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, let me know down in the comments what your list would be. But that's it for this video, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.